hey, uh, I can't believe that I found this letter in my in my computer. I made a PDF of it and I wrote it down. I wrote a letter to myself where I would be in five years or just kind of look back on. And I can't believe like what I wrote to myself. It's really intriguing and interesting. Um, I can't, I still am shocked that I found this. Since it's, since it's five years ago, I'm gonna make it about five, min, five minutes just to share my my thoughts on the past and today. Um, right now I'm actually reading the letter in one of my apartment units that I have. I have multiple apartment units around the California area. Um, San Francisco, Palo Alto, LA, some stuff like that. Uh, let's see, my voice feels kind of more or less the same. My English got in better because I read more books <laughs> and spoke to more people that are up around my level and, and when it comes to business and, and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not distracted as, a, as, as I was before. My family, like I said in the past, and I'm going to read some stuff right now, has always been like my rock. And I still am true to my family as I am true to myself. And, and I love that about my family because without them, I couldn't be who really I am as a person which is Jack Dom so JD well it's been five years since I wrote the letter to myself and a lot has changed some stuff has not changed um, I now have three kids um, I I did have a girl from the past that was with me for a very long time um, we ended up both leaving each other and we went to separate schools so we didn't see each other for a long I think two years I think that passed by um, we, I went to one school, she went to one school and we ended up breaking up and we actually ended up getting back together and getting married, which is crazy. And we had three kids. It's a lot of work, you know, being with someone from the past, but I think it's worth it if, if you want it that bad or if you believe that it'll, it can work out perfectly for you. Um, let's see, I've gotten stronger connections. I've, I've gotten more, um, feedback from my family as a whole. And that, that energy I've, I've taken and learned from and filtered it with my business partners and people that I meet every day. Uh, let's see, I, I still stick to the friends that, I, that are important to me. A lot of them did disappear. I wrote in the letter here that like, like the real friends will stick around and the ones that are not important are not gonna stick around. And it's exactly what I wrote, which is, I was right about that. Um, people grow, people change, people don't wanna change. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on in that area. But I was thankful that I got to be myself in every aspect with the friendship, friendship, which would, it would be with, with family or if it's with, with, uh, with a business client or if it's running my own business. I always made sure that it was me and not something that I can fake because I'm, I'm, I try to be genuine. And that's what I wrote on here, too, to give a genuine connection with anybody and, and everyone I speak to. And I'm already at three minutes and I want to go a little faster than this, but it's a lot of content. Uh, but I'll try to get to it through as much as I can. Um, I, I don't let things get to me uh, under my skin like I used to. Five years ago, I would get like, like no. Like I would get like, really pissed because like I want certain things to work a certain way and, and they wouldn't. When it comes to business, I want to make sure that my clients are taken care of. And when it doesn't go smoothly because I'm not in control of it, it bugs me. And I, and I had to learn to like let my team take care of what's important and, and, and trust the people around me. And that's something I... I wrote here that I should do, and I ended up doing that actually. Um, I no longer work for Apple. I actually work for Google, and I do real estate on the side. And I ended up buying a bunch of properties all over California um, as I kept growing. And I did say in, in, in the letter here um, to do real estate and stick to it and, and, and move forward in life. And I did, you know, it, no matter what happened, I, I, I pushed through it, I busted through, and that's the important thing, because it's not easy. Uh, we're at four minutes now. Uh, let's see here. I've learned a lot. I've learned to be more open-minded. Before I was, I wouldn't say I was closed-minded, but I, I, I spoke more than I would listen. And and that skill has taught me so many things about myself, my clients, my family. So, and I learned that it's very important to listen because it can lead to bigger, better things, even though you don't want to listen. Um, that definitely ended up working out for me very well. Let's see here. I did get in the. I did end up getting three degrees. I got my uh, social social behavior and associates. I got my business associates degree, and I did get my uh, communications degree. And on my way, as I went to San Francisco State, I did end up having to get my BA in and uh, business and communications. Right now, as we speak, I'm on my way to USC to get my master's. 
That's the reason why I bought a bunch of pro properties in Northern California, just in case I needed to stay at one. It worked out perfectly for me. Um, can't believe five years passed by so quickly. I'm very thankful for the life I have now. It feels really, really good. And I'm very happy that I wrote these things about the past because if not, you know, probably wouldn't look back at it and, and really take in the change. I mean, some stuff is still the same. I still play video games with my cousins because we all live in different areas of, the, of California. And it's a great way to stay connected with family, even though you don't see them all the time. But we talk so much smack playing video games, you know, playing all through the midnight sometimes. And it's kind of nice, no matter how old I get, I still have the connection with my family. And I and I try to build that connection with friends and, and new friends and new new clients that I build um, or meet. And, and that's what I've learned from this whole process from the five years that passed by so quickly, to be honest. Um, and I'm very thankful. I make over $100,000 a year. Um, I, I, I've, I've always let, I've always said this quote, don't let, let me see how did I write it. Don't let life pass you by. And I, that thing has been up here in my head forever for the past five years. Because when you're young, you just kind of go through things. And you don't realize how much time you're spending. And if you don't shoot, aim, fire, whatever, you, you won't move forward. You have to take the plunge and you have to just take the risk. I didn't want to go to San Francisco, but I did. And I made the change and I got my own place and I passed my school. And I did very well. And that's why I have the life I have today. And ultimately, I, I vacation whenever I feel like it, to be honest. I have a great marriage. I have three kids. I mean, they're kids. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, let's see here. When, when I was younger, I, I've always taught, I've always been taught like important values and traditions. So I try to push that on my kids. And, and, and that's, that's what I always said. Family is very important to me, no matter how much money I make. Like at the end of the day, you can't buy some kind of family to be there for you as a person or even care. And that's what's special about family. Uh, let's see here. Also, my love of my life is my family, like my immediate family, my kids and my wife. And the only thing I, I have to say is that I'm very happy and I thank God for everything. And I'm very happy that I wrote all these things that I said to work on and to move forward with. And I ended up sticking to my plan here. Uh, five years seems kind of long, but it flies like that. The video is already going to be at seven, almost eight minutes. So I just want to say this is the end i did succeed i did make it i pushed forward no matter what i went through and i i just i'm just thankful and i'm grateful for my life so i'm very i'm gonna make another one of these and i'm gonna do it read it in five more years and make a video but i thought it was uh it was really interesting to look back at the stuff that i that i wrote and where i'm at today so letter it was it was awesome i can't believe it, five years see ya